Hey everybody, this is video number five. So excited. All right, so today I already posted it um, up on the internet, but now is my time to talk about it. And uh, what it, the inspiration for today is, for every minute you are angry, you lose 60 seconds of happiness. And as you all see, saw that was from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And I, I completely agree with this. However, I feel like as women, we tend to get stuck. I mean, have you ever gotten hurt by somebody? Duh, of course you have. Um, one time, actually, <laughs> when I read this, this is what came to mind. You, you all will, I'm sure enjoy this. My, I was talking after I had the twins. I was talking to my husband about my body image because I had been, you know, watching what I was eating. I was working out. Like I was really struggling though to get my body back where I thought it should be. And he had made some remark, as a lot of men do, about um, uh, somebody else in his past that um, he thought had a really nice uh, body figure. And, of course, I got angry. Now, I ended up staying angry with him for mm, probably about three days. Now, uh, why we didn't resolve that wasn't because he didn't know that I wasn't angry at him. He clearly knew. Um, but it was because I failed to first talk it through with him, you know, and second was to forgive him. And so that's really where I'm going to focus today um, are, are those topics is, you know, when you are angry, you're basically restricting yourself. You're telling yourself you're not allowed to be happy. Why? Why do you, why do we do that? You know, and it's because of our feelings. We get hurt. Um, you know, you have to learn to forgive somebody, whether you're right or wrong, being right or wrong. It, it doesn't matter. That's not the point. You should be open-minded here, both sides of the story. You know, some people, sometimes a lot of things are just misread or misunderstood. So you should really try to forgive people. And by forgiving doesn't mean you forget. That's very important. So the second part of forgiving is you have to control your mind, people. Mind control, okay? You have to not necessarily forget, but not dwell on it, not allow it to steal your happiness, to allow it to change who you are for that day. Um, when, you know, if you're mad at your child, you know, for, uh, you know, you don't, they don't deserve to be treated the way that you treat them when you're angry at them or your boss or, um, you know, a, a coworker. It, it doesn't matter, people. You got to let it go. You just forgive them and then make the choice to actually control your thoughts. Don't be like, oh, well, they said, you know, they liked my hair better when it was blonde. You know, hey, don't dwell on it. Don't let it get to you. Don't in your head go, yeah, well, you looked better when you were 10 pounds thinner. No, people, stop. Stop the insanity. You have to control your mind, okay? I, you know, I had to talk to my husband about it. We had to get it out there. I misread what he said. He said it in a wrong way. Okay, so then control my thoughts. I don't need to dwell on it. I don't need to bring it down. Huh, you know what? You're better than that. You're worth more than that. So people, don't let anything steal your happiness. Forgive, control your mind, and talk to the person about it. Be open-minded, listen, okay? Don't always have to talk. You can stop, close the mouth, and listen. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.